Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. The following video was filmed live and edited, and it is on how to make this easel card. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks a lot. Okay, so um, the supplies are pretty pretty simple today. We are making a simple card. Um, like I said, it's an easel card. Uh, the base of my card is going to be crumb cake um, that measures eight and a half by five and a half. And then I've got Whisper White, five and a quarter by four. And then this is the, um, no, not Gingham. Well, it is Gingham, but what is it? It is the Bright's Collection um, stacks, the little six by six stacks, and it measures five by three and three quarters. And this is the Granny Apple Green color, okay? I'm kind of stuck on that color. And then we have two more pieces of white for our stampin'. So we are using the Yummy Christmas stamp set and the Cuckoo Clock dies again. So if you watched my video on Monday, um, it took a long time to color, but it's okay. Um, I usually can wrap it up in 30 minutes, even with coloring and all. So I wanted to mention that when I uh, demonstrated my box on Monday, these dies were on low inventory. They have come off of low inventory, so yay! So if you wanted to order the Yummy Christmas and the Cuckoo Clock dies, they are no longer on that low inventory list. And we're gonna be using three of three of the dies, the Gingerbread House, the tree, and then the candy. And then we're also using the stitched rectangle die for our greeting today. So now we're gonna start with the base of our card, which this is the simplest part. Well, it's not, actually, this is not hard, so I don't know why I say that. I, th I guess it's just because it's so easy. Okay, eight and a half inch side, score it two and an eighth and four and a quarter. Just like normal, kind of, sorta. And then I'm gonna take my bone folder and burnish those two score lines. And then I'm gonna fold this one back over so that it looks just like that, okay? Now I'm gonna take the gingham paper, which I love, and I'm gonna put my adhesive on the back. I'm almost out of this color. I have used this color a lot. This one and then in the Saddles pack, I've used the Pool Party a lot. Okay, now, this is gonna go just like that, okay? So I'm gonna add my adhesive. There. This is gonna fit in a regular standard envelope. That's the beauty of this card, is you don't need any special special envelopes. Just hold that for a second. Okay, that part's done. Now we can set that aside for a while, because <laughs> now we have some stamping to do. So we're gonna stamp the gingerbread house. We only need one. For our card the other night we we used two for the box okay set that aside and then we're going to stamp four trees four of these candies and then the greeting so now you see why i had multiple sheets so I'm gonna take the tree first. Now I'm not gonna make you watch me color all four trees. I'm gonna stamp all four just because some people need that visual of that's how many you need. So four trees. And then over here on this side, oh, come here. I'm gonna stamp four of Somebody tell me what this candy's called. I wanted to say it was, um, I can't remember. Okay, now I'm gonna take this one over here and I'm gonna get my real red ink pad and I'm gonna stamp happy. Okay, 
and then I'm going to take this image. Now this is in this is in the same stamp set. I'll show you that uh, case again in just a second. The stamp case, and I might have to put my head in the camera. Nope, I didn't have to. Where did I put the stamp case? So. I didn't realize this, but this is one stamp and this is one stamp. I thought this was one, I thought this was one, two, three, four. And no, the hard work has been done for you. This is one, this is one image. See, it has a little hole in the middle so that you don't get ink on it. That's pretty brilliant. Okay, so let me close up my ink pad real quick so that I don't get, um, ink on myself and it don't dry out so here's three of my trees already colored and three pieces of candy gumdrops okay I thought that's what they were but then I'm like but gumdrops are not gum you know what I mean <laughs> okay so I'm gonna take my um, Stampin' Blend markers and I want two granny apple green and one of the other so i'm going to take my dark granny apple green and start over here on the left side and then take the light granny apple green okay now we're going to color the tree oh i just went out of the line a little bit oh well So you know how we've all been asking for cooler temperatures? Um, boy, we sure got our wish. It's like we went from summer to winter in one swoop. It's like so crazy. I like 70 degree weather, but Kansas don't get much of that. It just always goes from like winter to summer and then summer to winter. It's like spring and fall or Sometimes we have them, but for the most part, they get skipped. Okay, we're only coloring one, like I said. So I'm going to take my dark, real red, and color the ornaments. And then I'm going to take the dark crumb cake and color the um, trunk. Or is that, isn't that called a trunk? I don't know. Tree trunk. Okay, so we're going to cut those out. Now we got to color this guy. So if you need a break, um, now is the time to do so. It actually didn't take as long as I thought um, the other day. Yeah, because we still finished our video and... Um, 30 minutes so I suspect we will finish in 30 today as well maybe even less so this is the dark crumb cake oh and the puff paint is on the low inventory or back order but it's going to be back in stock on the 14th so that's just next week so for those of you that were wanting to order the puff paint we talked about that, adding that to the uh, gingerbread house the other day. I should look over. My camera looks like it moved, didn't it? Let's see if I can zoom in a little. I swear it moved. Maybe it was my, because uh, you guys can see all this area over here. Oh, well. I'm obsessing. When I edit it, I can trim all that out. We just can't do it when we're live. I always stand when I stamp, and I always stand when I film videos. I have filmed, I think way back in the day when I used to go live on Ustream, those were probably the only videos I ever sat down and did, just because they were so long. Um, but yeah, I always stand and stamp, but today is one of those days that I actually, 
I actually could sit down. <laughs> I'd like to sit down, I should say. I don't have that available here at this setup, though. I need a stand-up uh, filming station and then a set-down filming station. I will say this. We are looking at uh, moving. I was going to keep that under wraps, but... Um, now that the kids have moved out, we're going to downsize a little bit, and I would like to have a custom office. I don't know if it's going to work out. It may not, but we are looking. My other thing is, too, is I'd prefer to not have dogs <laughs> behind me, beside me. It's like every time I film a video, like Monday night I was live, and there was two dogs and the two neighbor's dogs barking. There's always a lawnmower going or a weed whacker or something. So, yeah, we're kind of looking. It may not work out, but I'm putting it in God's hands. If it's his will, it'll happen. And if not, I'm not going to force it. To be honest, I'm a little afraid. I've never lived in a house this long. It's been, um, gosh, almost 20 years. Yeah. Okay, so one mistake I made the other day is I didn't color the inside of the wreath, so I can't remember the name of the person that, that told me, but thank you for telling me that because, yes, when the wreath is hanging on the house, you should color the center because that's uh, it's on the house. So I missed that last time. Okay, still using the light crumb cake. Okay, then I'm going to do the inside of the windows. I'm just basically coloring this just like I did the other day um, because I don't have to think about it. It's kind of done for me. You know what I mean? Sometimes that's all I need is just a little start on how to color something. I'm going to get the dark crumb cake again. And color that part. When I was editing my video, I was laughing at when I said I would like a gingerbread man. I meant to say, you know, I wanted a cookie. <laughs> it sounded kind of funny. Um, okay, over here too. I'm just going to give a little bit of... Now let's go with the dark real red. And I'm going to do the candy cane here. Yeah, so here's a question for all y'all. For those of you that are not brave enough to leave a comment, because sometimes people don't know what to say. I'm famous for that. Like, I so often don't know what the heck to say. And when I do say something, I say the wrong thing. So... Uh, on the uh, comment box, tell me, how long have you lived in your current house? Um, I can't believe it's almost been 20 years. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, so now I'm going to do these little peppermint candies up here. It's an interesting, in, interesting question, right? There was a period where we were moving a lot. Um... We bought our first house in, uh, let's see, Chase was born in November of 92, and we moved into our new home um, in January of 93, and then David was going to accept a job in Iowa, so we listed our house, sold it immediately, and then went to Iowa to house hunt, and the company uh, announced that they were being bought out so we didn't want to change jobs with a buyout so we literally moved like two blocks up we found a couple that needed to get out soon and we needed a house because the lady wouldn't let us keep ours um, and then two years later we moved to Kansas and then two years later we moved to Illinois and then two years later we moved back to Kansas and here we are that's quite the story, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm going to wait on those. That was a lot of moving, right? 
so when we bought this house, we just thought we would be here for a few years. Um, we never dreamt that it would turn into 20. This wreath is a little more challenging to color. Whoops, I went out of the line. Oh well. I went out of the line twice. Grr. I can't see really. My eyes keep going blurry. Okay, Whew. that part's done. Okay, now candy here. And this one. I think that's all the green. We'll see. And then I need the red again. I am making one slight change. On this one, I am going to use the um, the Dark Daffodil Delight just to add another color in here. Okay, let's see. Oh, so Regina says she remembers when we... Um, when we redid the office area. Yeah, you know, when I earned my first incentive trip with Stampin' Up, uh, David officially let me have the basement for my for my studio. I had previously been in the fourth bedroom of our house, and uh, it was quite small. We, we often put six-foot tables in my bedroom and did work in there when we used to uh, make things. To sell like card kits and coaster things um, okay I think I'm done coloring yay so now we want to get the the dies and we're gonna cut everything out so we're gonna cut the greeting out with that one the gingerbread house with that and the tree and the gumdrop Okay, I'm not the only one that says they're downsizing. Yeah, the, the floor plan that we're looking at, it's about a thousand square feet smaller. So we're, um, we will be excited to have our house house on the main level. Like this house is three levels. And when I need to go upstairs to do laundry, I have to climb, climb, listen to me, like I'm on my hands and knees. It feels like it some days. Um, but I have to go up 30 stairs. So it's like I don't do laundry unless I can stay up there because, well, yeah, I would say probably 10 times a day at least I go from down here to all the way up there. I think I could save a couple hours of my life every day not having those stairs. So we are looking at having like a reverse, a reverse story so that it's just the main level has everything we need. And then I would get the basement again for my office. But that wouldn't be so bad because that would just be like 15 stairs going down. There's the greeting. And then we'll move this aside. So sometimes um, people will send me a comment about the condition of my cutting pads and how gnarly they look. You know, when you cut for class packets your pads get a lot of use and i searched my house high and low to get to find one and i'm officially out of clean fresh pads so now all of them look very well loved and worn and yeah i can't really change it i mean i guess i could go buy one at the store but i don't really want to i'm i'm trying to hold out until we get our new cutting system there's no word yet so don't get too excited because I don't know anything, <laughs> but I'm still hoping and praying. Yeah, well, and we don't have a bedroom on the main level of our house, so I need another couple surgeries. And, you know, when you have surgery, stairs are kind of not very, not very good. So then when I have to let Bella out to go potty, um, it's just really, yeah, we need our house on the main level. <laughs> 
Okay, so let me get my dimensionals out and my glue dots. How am I on time? See, I told you, I'm gonna finish this card in plenty of time. All that coloring didn't do anything. Okay, one there, and then two down here. Oh, ruh -ruh, I did one too many. Okay, so here's our card. Make sure I'm putting it on the right place. And I've got my Wink of Stella. I'm not gonna use the puff paint because I just don't have that good of a control with it. And there's a lot of snow on this, this project. So I'm just gonna use my Wink of Stella. Let's see, now I wanna take my real red, this is the cotton ribbon. Okay, here we go. I have to add some ribbon to this card. I have to. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Oh, I have to tell y'all what happened yesterday. So I was filming a video for Stamp Pub Online yesterday, and everything turned out great. I When I went to edit the video, my entire video had recorded in slow-mo now i didn't click on slow-mo i don't know what happened but as i was listening to it it was like wow this is where they get sounds for horror movies because <laughs> it was i'm gonna make a blooper video because i got a handful of them so i'm just gonna save them and i'll share it with you so when you see that you'll you'll be able to laugh with me oh i forgot to color the daffodil delight part of this uh didn't I color the trees with some? Actually, I kind of like them okay white, but let's go ahead and color them real quick. We have time. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, the slow-mo, I'd done that before, like, you know, m making faces and stuff, like being silly, but I had never filmed an entire video in slow-mo. It was crazy. So then I had to refilm the video. And then I was terrified it was going to happen again. I like Googled, why did my iPhone record in slow-mo? I guess they say there's a button that you could accidentally push. Okay, so now this greeting is going to get added down here. So I'm going to put a couple dimensionals on it because I want it to really stay put. Our dimensionals are super strong anyway, but it's going to hold this easel. So... Just gonna place it right there, like that. And then we're gonna add some gumdrops and some trees. So I need my glue dots. Okay, so the first tree is gonna get added right here and I'm gonna pop him up. So let me get, I'm popping up two trees with dimensionals and then I'm not popping up the other two. Okay, so there's that one. And then this dude, I'm just gonna use my glue dots because they're here and it's easy. I say it's easy until it sticks to my fingernail. And then this guy's gonna get slid back here like that. Same thing over here. So pop that one up. This one gets a glue dot. Okay, now we're gonna take some red rhinestones. Same thing as I did the other day. I'm just gonna add a couple or three to his buttons on the gingerbread man to give it some bling. Now these guys, isn't that so cute? Um, okay, so now I'm gonna add a gumdrop here and I'm just gonna use a, a glue dot in the upper left corner 
And I did that little pointing so that I could remind myself of which corner it was. And then this one's going to get added um, like over here. And the red one's going to get added on the left side. I didn't do a very good job of coloring that one. And then this one over here. So it's kind of hard for you to see how it looks on camera, but that's how it looks. Cute, right? They look the same. There's no difference. Yeah. Okay, see y'all later. Thank you.